Welcome everyone. We are closing out our worship and work week here at St. Peter's. It has been a busy and fruitful week and uh, we're very honored and graced to be able to welcome you here to St. Peter's. I am in the midst of pulling up the live Facebook feed, so give me a moment here. If you are watching on YouTube, please like and subscribe and hit the bell for notifications. And uh, if you have any intercessions or thanksgivings, please include those in the remarks on YouTube. We'll make sure they get prayed over on Monday for morning prayer. But if you're with us on the live chat, please do include your thanksgivings and intercessions. We'll make sure they get prayed over at the end of this particular office. We have evening prayer, we close out. We've had a busy week. We've done morning and evening prayer through Monday through Thursday. We did a Wednesday noon Eucharist and reinstated that is also live streamed. We also have had the rector's vlog and blog post, the e-news post. We've had a busy week at the, at the shop at St. Peter's, um, so you can see that. And as well, we also have the uh, shop open this evening. So on top of that, they serve community supper, Allison's Cup Food Pantry. You know, just a quiet week at St. Peter's, this sleepy little parish that we love, and we're honored to welcome you home too. It is time for evening prayer. I will call that up and we will go into our service. Thank you for being here. Thine is the day, O God, thine also the night. Thou hast established the moon and the sun. Thou hast fixed all the boundaries of the earth. Thou hast made summer and winter. Let us humbly confess our sins unto Almighty God. Almighty and most merciful Father, we have erred and strayed from thy ways like lost sheep. We have followed too much the devices and desires of our own hearts. We have offended against thy holy laws. We have left undone those things which we ought to have done, and we have done those things which we ought not to have done. But thou, O Lord, have mercy upon us. Spare thou those who confess their faults. Restore thou those who are penitent, according to thy promises declared unto humankind in Christ Jesus our Lord. And grant, O most merciful Father, for his sake, that we may hereafter live a godly, righteous, and sober life to the glory of thy holy name. Amen. The almighty and merciful Lord grant us absolution and remission of all our sins, true repentance, amendment of life, and the grace and consolation of his Holy Spirit. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Please join me in unison for the invitatory. O gracious light, pure brightness of the ever-living Father in heaven, O Jesus Christ, holy and blessed, now as we come to the setting of the sun, and our eyes behold the vesper light, we sing thy praises, O God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, Thou art worthy at all times to be praised by happy voices, O Son of God, O giver of life, and to be glorified through all the worlds. Our Psalms this evening, 59 and 60. I'll offer the odd. Please respond with the even. Deliver me from my enemies, O my God. Protect me from those who rise up against me. Deliver me from those who work evil, from the bloodthirsty. Save me. Even now they lie in wait for my life. The mighty stir up strife against me for no transgression or sin of mine, O oh Lord. For no fault of mine, they, they run, run and, make and make ready. Rouse yourself, come to my help and see. You, Lord God of hosts, are God of Israel. Awake, Awake to punish, punish all, all the nations. nations. Spare, Spare none, of, none those of those who treacherously, who treacherously plot, evil. plot evil. Each evening they come back, howling like dogs and prowling about the city. There they are, they are bellowing, bellowing with, with their, their mouths, with sharp, with sharp words, on, words their on their lips, for who they, for think, who they will think, think will hear us. Will hear us. But you laugh at them, O oh Lord. You hold all the nations in derision. My strength. Oh, my strength. I will watch for you. For you, for you O, God, o God, are, are my fortress. My God in his steadfast love will meet me. My God will let me look in triumph on my enemies. Do not kill them, or my people, my may, people forget. may forget. Make them totter, totter by your by power, your power and, and bring, bring them down, down, O Lord, our shield. Our shield. 
for the sin of their mouths, the words of their lips, let them be trapped in their pride for the cursing and lies that they utter. Consume them Consume in, them wrath. in wrath. Consume, Consume them, them no until they are no more. Then it will be known to the ends of the earth that God rules over Jacob. Each, Each evening, evening come back, they come back howling, howling like, like dogs, dogs and, prowling about, and prowling about the city. They roam about for food and growl if they do not get their fill. But I will, but sing, I will of sing of your might. I will sing I will aloud, sing aloud of, your of your steadfast, steadfast love, love in the morning. In the morning. For you have been a, a fortress for me and a refuge in the day of my distress. When my strength, oh, my strength, I will sing praises, I will sing to, praises you. to you. For, for you, O oh God, God, are my fortress. fortress. The God, the who, God shows me who shows me love. steadfast love. O oh God, you have rejected us, broken our defenses. You have been angry. Now restore us. You have caused, you have caused the land to quake. You have, you have torn, torn it open. open. Repair, Repair the, the cracks, cracks in it, for it, is for it is tottering. You have made your people suffer hard things. You have given us wine to drink that made us real. You have set, you have set up for a banner you, for those who fear you to rally to, rally to, to it out of Boshat. Give victory with your right hand and answer us so that those whom you love may be rescued. God, God has, has promised, promised in his sanctuary, in his sanctuary with, with exultation, I will divide, I will divide up Shechem. Up Shechem and portion out the veil of Sokoth. Gilead is mine and Manasseh is mine. Ephraim is my helmet. Judah is my scepter. Moab is my, Moab is my wash basin. On Edom, on Edom I hold my, my shoe. shoe. Over, Over Philistia, Philistia, I, shout in, I triumph. shout in triumph. Who will bring me to the fortified city? Who will lead me to Edom? Have you, not reject Have you not rejected us, O God? You do you not, do not go, go out, out O God, o God with, our with our armies. O grant us help against the foe, for human help is worthless. With, with God, God we shall do valiantly. It, it is, is he who will, who tread, will tread down, down our, foes. our foes. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. reading from Paul's letter to the Hebrews. Therefore, while the promise of entering his rest is still open, let us take care that none of you should seem to have failed to reach it. For indeed, the good news came to us just as to them, but the message they heard did not benefit them, because they were not united by faith with those who listened. For we who have believed enter that rest, just as God has said, as my in my anger I swore, they shall not enter my rest. Though his works were finished at the foundation of the world, for in one place it speaks about the seventh day as follows. And God rested on the seventh day from all his works. And again, in this place it says, they shall not enter my rest. Since therefore it remains open for some to enter it, and those who formerly received the good news failed to enter because of disobedience. Again, he sets a certain day today saying that through David much later, in the words already quoted, today, if you hear his voice, do not harden your hearts. For if Joshua had given them rest, God would not speak later about another day. So then, a Sabbath rest still remains for the people of God. For those who enter God's rest also cease from their labors, as God did from his. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our first canticle, the Song of Mary together. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior, for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day, all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel 
for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from Mark. When he, when he returned to Capernaum after some days, it was reported that he was at home. So many gathered around that there was no longer room for them, not even in the front of the door. And he was speaking, he was speaking the word to them. Then some people came bringing to him a paralyzed man carried by four of them. And when they could not bring him to Jesus because of the crowd, they removed the roof above him, and after having dug through it, they let down the mat on which the paralytic lay. When Jesus saw their faith, faith he said to the paralytic, Son, your sins are forgiven. Now some of the scribes were sitting there, questioning in their hearts, Why does this fellow speak in this way? It is blasphemy. Who can forgive sins but God alone? At once, Jesus perceived in his spirit that they were discussing these questions among themselves. And he said to them, why do you raise such questions in your hearts? Which is easier, to say to the paralytic, your sins are forgiven, or to say, stand up and take your mat and walk? But so that you may know that the Son of Man has authority on earth to forgive sins, he said to the paralytic, I say to you, stand up. Take your mat and go to your home. And he stood up and immediately took the mat and went out before all of them, so that they were all amazed and glorified God, saying, We have never seen anything like this. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our second canticle, the Song of Simeon, together. Lord, you now have set your servant free to go in peace as you have promised. For these eyes of mine have seen the Savior, whom you have prepared for all the world to see, a light to enlighten the nations and to the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sitteth on the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. That this evening may be holy, good, and peaceful. We entreat, we thee, entreat o thee, O Lord, that thy, that thy holy angels may lead us in paths of peace and goodwill. We entreat, we entreat thee, thee, O Lord, that we may be pardoned and forgiven for our sins and offenses. We entreat, we entreat thee, thee, O Lord, that there may be peace to thy church and to the whole world. We entreat, we thee, entreat thee, O Lord, that we may depart this life in thy faith and fear and not be condemned before the great judgment seat of Christ. We entreat, we thee, entreat thee, O Lord, that we may be bound together by thy Holy Spirit in the communion of the ever-blessed Virgin Mary, blessed Peter, our patron, and all thy saints, entrusting one another and all our life to Christ. We, entreat, we thee. entreat thee, O Lord. 
Almighty God, whose blessed son was led by the spirit to be tempted by Satan, come quickly to help us who are assaulted by many temptations. And as you know the weaknesses of each of us, let each one find you mighty to save. Through Jesus Christ, your son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Lord Jesus, stay with us for evening is at hand and the day is past. Be our companion in the way, kindle our hearts and awaken hope that we may know thee as thou art revealed in scripture and the breaking of bread. Grant this for the sake of thy love. Amen. O God and Father of all whom the whole heavens adore, let the whole earth also worship thee, all nations obey thee, all tongues confess and bless thee, and men and women everywhere love thee and serve thee in peace. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. I invite your praise of intercession and thanksgiving. Pray for it. Go ahead, Bill. Um, pray for strength for John and I to help take care of Anne Marie and be there for her as she goes through this treatment regimen. I want to say thanks for my debate team and another successful season and a chance to work with these wonderful and amazing kids. Pray for John, who is uh, applying to law schools. We pray with special intention this day and this eventide for Yuna as she approaches the time when she will be raised up to glory in Christ and resurrection. Pray for her family as they watch over her and care for her and give her love and care and peace and support. She so richly has gathered around her in these 101 years of life on this planet. May she enjoy an eternal weight of glory in the next life. We give thanks as well for our community of faith gathered in service and care around the mission and ministry of St. Peter's. We pray for the wider convocation and diocesan community as we continue to seek God's will and grace for the future of our church. Oh God, you made us in your own image and redeemed us through Jesus, your son. Look with compassion on the whole human family. Take away the arrogance and hatred which infect our hearts. Break down the walls that separate us, unite us in bonds of love, and work through our struggle and confusion to accomplish your purposes on earth, that in your good time, all nations and races may serve you in harmony around your heavenly throne, through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Please join me in the general thanksgiving. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, thine unworthy servants, do give thee most humble and hearty thanks for all thy goodness and loving kindness to us and to all. We bless thee for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for thine inestimable love and the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we beseech thee, give us that due sense of all thy mercies, that our hearts may be unfeignedly thankful, and that we show forth thy praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to thy service and by walking before thee in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom with thee and the Holy Ghost be all honor and glory, world without end. Amen. Almighty God, who has given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication unto thee, and hast promised through thy well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, thou wilt be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, the desires and petitions of thy servants as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of thy truth and in the world to come life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Ghost be with us all evermore. Amen. Amen. Well, everyone, thank you for joining us. Uh, it is a blessing, and uh, we pray for Allison, who uh, hurt her shoulder, but uh, will be back with us, we hope, very soon, and uh, give thanks for her presence in our lives and running support on this uh, great ministry. Thank you, Laura and Bill, for being readers tonight. Appreciate your presence as well. Dan Marie off in the background, Bill, listening in? Or? Yeah, she's okay. like there. All right, and hey, we're praying for you as well. All right, everybody, it's such an honor to have you with us. Please like and subscribe on YouTube. Hit the bell for notifications. If you are watching on uh, 
on Facebook Live. We are happy you are with us and uh, pray that you will continue to follow us and participate in our online ministry of prayer. We will be meeting again at 8 a.m. on Sunday for our gathering of uh, Sunday worship. We will be together again all week next week, Monday and, and uh, through Thursday for morning and evening prayer. This coming weekend, we have the shop open. We also have the women's breakfast. Uh, all are welcome and uh, we'll see you around for now. May your even tide be one of rest. May you be refreshed. And in the Sabbath day to come, which we hope you all will enjoy some moment of rest, please do find some refreshment in that. We appreciate your presence. Thank you for being here and welcome home to St. Peter's. Take care and God bless. Bye.